This is a short video on stomach cancer. First, we have a pie chart that shows us the types of stomach cancer and their prevalence. You can see that most of these are adenocarcinomas. That's this blue, this orange, this gray. They're all different types of adenocarcinomas, of the diffuse type, of the intestinal type, or of the gastroesophageal junction. A smaller portion are gastric lymphomas. So these are the two categories we'll be talking about, adenocarcinomas of the stomach and gastric lymphomas, uh, two types of stomach cancer. So first, adenocarcinomas. Epidemiology first. This is relatively rare in the United States. Most of them are diagnosed in Eastern Asia, including China, Japan, South Korea, Eastern Europe, the Andean region of South America. There's a couple risk factors for these that are worth knowing. First, salt preservatives, specifically nitroso compounds that are used to preserve some East Asian foods. H. pylori infection is a risk factor. Gastrinoma, like Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. Smoking, alcohol, and atrophic gastritis are other risk factors. <coughs> Excuse me. Some signs and symptoms, you can have early satiety, weight loss, mid-epigastric pain that worsens with eating, and bowel obstruction. The diagnosis is primarily made with endoscopy and biopsy, and you can do PET CT to further stage the cancer, and you essentially want to check the liver. Anything that is in the bowel goes to the liver first, so if there are metastases, you might see them in the liver. In general, adenocarcinoma of the stomach has a pretty poor prognosis. If you catch it at an early stage, you can surgically remove it. If it's at an advanced stage with metastases throughout the body, you might just go to palliative care. Here's a picture of a suspicious ulcer that was seen on endoscopy. It was biopsied, diagnosed as adenocarcinoma, and then it was subsequently excised. And here's a pathology sample of adeno adenocarcinoma of the stomach. So next is this gastric lymphoma, also called maltoma. The pathophysiology here is chronic inflammation from H. pylori infection that stimulates the antigen-dependent B and T cells in the gastric lamina. This then results in monoclonal B cells no longer depending on the normal stimulatory pathways in the body. So that's what causes a growth, that's what causes gastric lymphoma. The diagnosis again is made by endoscopy and biopsy. In general, the maltomas have a better prognosis than adenocarcinoma of the stomach. You can treat this usually by treating H. pylori itself. So uh, quadruple therapy treats the cancer. Um, you can do triple therapy, that's clarithromycin, amoxicillin, and a PPI. You could also do quad therapy, quadruple therapy, which is metronidazole, tetracycline, an H2 blocker, and bismuth. There's more advanced disease that might require radiation or immunotherapy, such as rituximab, and they also have some single-agent chemo. But uh, in most cases, if you treat H. pylori with triple or quadruple therapy, that usually uh, recede, the cancer usually recedes, and the patients typically do better. So this was a short review of stomach cancer. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for listening.